Good evening, I'm Shog Mohammed, and this is the 11 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today issued a circular stipulating the New Year's holiday. The Kingdom's ministries, directorates and public institutions will be closed on Tuesday, January 1st, marking the beginning of the New Year 2019. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met Vice President of the Public Affairs of Hawaii Technologies Mr. Mark Juman at Al Fab Palace today. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the Kingdom's information and communications technology sector as an engine of economic growth, job creation and technological development. His Royal Highness also highlighted Bahrain's commitment, as laid out in its Vision 2030, to enable private sector investment and innovation, in line with the principles of fairness, competitiveness and transparency. Present was the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Pitch at Palace Global 3.0 winners, Pitch at Palace GCC 1.0 People's Choice Award winners and Arawi co-founders Hala Suleiman, Amir al and Mohammed Ibrahim at Rafa'a Palace today. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of advancing the creative and innovative potential of young people as a vehicle to fostering sustainable growth. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted His Royal Highness the Duke of York's role in cultivating a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship by providing a platform for inspiring entrepreneurs to showcase their work and stressed Bahrain's ongoing support for the Pitch at Palace initiative. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his congratulations to the winners of Pitch at Palace Global 3.0, noting that the award reflects the level of talent that sits at the heart of Bahrain's entrepreneurial community. For their part, the Pitched Palace Global 3.0 winners and Arawi co-founders expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Present was the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Martial Arts Federation and Founder of Khalid bin Hamad Sports Foundation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia to attend the 21st edition of the Brave Fighting Championship which will be organized by the Brave Fighting Association tomorrow at the King Abdullah Sports City. Upon his arrival at King Abdelaziz International Airport, His Highness was welcomed by a number of senior sports officials in Saudi Arabia, the Consul General of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in Jeddah, Ibrahim al muslimani and members of the consulate. In an arrival statement, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed delight to visit Saudi Arabia to attend the 21st edition of the Brave Fighting Championship, adding that the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are distinguished by the deep brotherly ties between the two countries and peoples. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that the great brotherly relationship between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, has pushed the two countries towards wider horizons of close cooperation for further progress and prosperity in all fields. His Highness said the selection of Jeddah to host the 21st edition of the Brave Fighting Championship is a contribution to strengthening efforts to support the bilateral relations between the two countries at the sports level and constitutes a real opportunity to push forward the efforts to spread the culture of MMA in the region and the Middle East. His Highness said the tournament, which was launched from the Kingdom of Bahrain, in September 2016 strengthened Bahrain's advanced position in the sports of mixed martial arts. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the official weight test which took place at Al Andalus Complex in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia on the presence of a large number of fans of mixed martial arts.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated today the 25th edition of the Al Ayam Book Fair and stressed the importance of reading in order to achieve more awareness and further progress. The event was attended by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, a number of ministers, diplomatic figures, ambassadors, officials, as well as media figures. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed the importance of enhancing cultures, which encourages scientific research, as well as strengthens the education of the citizens. He added that the Al Ayam Book Fair is proof of the Kingdom's keenness to nurture these cultural events in the country. Sheikh Khalid highlighted that despite the technological developments and smart devices, books still have their value, which attracts people to attend such events because a book will always have a different meaning and feel compared to e-books. He praised the efforts of the Al Ayam and its keenness to hold this event for 25 years and attract various local Arab and international publishing companies. He also hailed the efforts of the private sector in enhancing knowledge and culture. The chairman of the board of directors of Al Ayam newspaper, Najib Al Hamara, expressed appreciation to the deputy prime minister for patronizing the event and highlighted that this patronage reflects the importance of enhancing culture and knowledge in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Al Ayam Book Fair 2018 is a plausible national initiative of Al Ayam Printing and Publishing House aimed at promoting the culture of reading, literature and intellect in the local and region societies. The Bahraini society has shown keen interest in these important cultural events. The Book Fair's sustainability over 25 years is indicative of its tremendous success and proof of Al Ayam Corporations accepting the challenge. I am an author for uh, children story books. It is concentrated on Bahrain culture, Bahrain society, and uh, the last book I have it on the number five. It is about uh, Bahrain and uh, the National Day. This is my third participation in uh, the Ayam exhibition. It's uh, not only give you a chance to. Uh, meet the people and explain about uh, your books, but it gives you a chance to meet many other authors and many other uh, libraries which is around the world. I'm so happy to participate in uh, book in the Ayam Book Fair. Uh, today, I, uh, this is my first day uh, to share this uh, film, uh, to sign my first novel. Uh, the novel, it's a new idea. It's a message for the youth that they can start their project, their business project, just from idea, with zero budget. The annual book fair reflects the importance of the book in the kingdom, and despite the diversity of sources of knowledge, the book fair stays as the basic and important step in spreading culture and finding information.
Al-Rawi is an audiobook uh, application and online platform. Uh, our focus is the uh, audiobooks uh, and its Arabic content. Uh, this is the second time we participate in Al-Ayam uh, Book Festival. Um, it's, uh, the traffic is amazing, uh, the exposure is great being in, in this event. Uh, we're trying to showcase uh, the first and only audiobook application in the Kingdom of Bahrain and one of the leading in the Arab world. Every year I participate in Bahrain exhibition and uh, it's one of the biggest uh, book fair in uh, the world and we keen each of uh, the exhibitors are keen to join here in this uh, special exhibition because it's very important for us and it's it's uh, one of the globals one the importance of the book attested by the showcasing of numerous titles in all areas of knowledge the book fair was successful in attracting several publishing houses from around the world. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Mohamed Youssef. The Isa Cultural Center celebrated its 10th anniversary, which coincides with the 40th anniversary since the establishment of the Historical Document Center. The celebration was attended by senior officials and a host of distinguished guests that included intellectuals, longtime supporters of the centers and staff members. Deputy Boardman of Trustees, Chairman and Executive Director of the Center, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, said the Center's intellectual contributions reflect His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision for the country. Sheikh Khalid said that Bahrain has long been a center for modernity and intellectual enlightenment and that it will remain a symbol for both. We are celebrating the anniversary, uh, the 10th anniversary of the ISA Cultural Center. Uh, plus, we are also celebrating the 40th anniversary of the uh, Historical Documentation Center, uh, which both of them, in fact, uh, have been established through the visions of His Majesty the King. Uh, 40 years ago, he uh, put this vision into, uh, into uh, reality or into practice by uh, establishing the historical uh, documentation center. Uh, later on, of course, uh, 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 10 years ago, 2008, uh, uh, His Majesty uh, inaugurated the uh, Isa Cultural Center, which is now uh, is a, a unique uh, center for, uh, for cultural, preserving uh, the culture of Bahrain, the heritage, and uh, posting the uh, image of Bahrain internationally. Um, we, uh, in this celebration, we in fact uh, enhance our relationship not only with the international community but also with the people of Bahrain, the educated people of Bahrain, uh, through culture, through uh, uh, activities uh, like uh, uh, lectures, uh, conferences, uh, symposiums, and so on. This 10th anniversary of ISA Cultural Center, we ought to look back at the past and see what we have achieved, and also we look at the future to see what we are going to achieve. In terms of culture, the center has achieved a lot. It helped to promote the culture of Bahrain in the first place and join hands with other cultures in promoting tolerance and worldwide culture. I am very happy as a member of the board of trustees to be here tonight with all our distinguished guests. The National Bureau for Taxation, the NBT, highlighted today its ongoing efforts to enhance consumer protection and compliance with the VAT law and its executive regulations in preparation for its induction on January 1, 2019. The NBC has introduced various initiatives to enhance transparency and increase consumers' awareness in regards to their rights. In this context, consumers are reminded that they are not required to register for VAT, nor are they expected to go through the registration certificate procedures. Consumers are also encouraged to make sure that shops clearly display their VAT registration certificates prior to paying the VAT. 
Consumers are reminded to call 8801 or email VAT at mof.gov.bh to report any violations including levying tax on goods and service not subject to VAT or charging VAT prior to its induction.